Now, if you want to break up information to organize and arrange into cells as a way for the reader to visually grasp its contents quickly, we can insert what's called a table that will do that. And to do that, well, I'm in the body of the message. Come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Tables group, click on the Tables drop-down arrow, and you can choose how many rows, how many columns you'd like. And then when you have it set, like I have here, I've highlighted three columns and three rows. Click in the last cell of each one, and it automatically inserts it. And then you can go ahead and type in, I like the product. It's going to be Gummy Bears. The number we have of that product, maybe 25 packages. Then the cost per package is $3. And keep it simple. And then if we have additional products, go ahead and hit the tab key, type in more. And when you get to the end, you can hit the tab key to add an additional row. And then when it comes to deleting rows and columns, I'm going to keep it very basic here. And I go over it in greater detail in my Microsoft Word training video on tables. So to give you the basics here, you can right click in a cell and you get a whole lot of options down below in the mini formatting toolbar to insert either above or below the row. You get an extra row and to delete cells, columns, rows. Well, let's just delete the row that we inserted, including the entire table, but let's just delete the row. And then you can click and drag and select an entire row. And you have the Related Contextual Design tab, but I want to go to the Layout tab because on the Layout tab, you can merge the cells all together right there. So maybe that would be the title of the table, but usually that would be above, up at the top. But you may have yours down at the bottom. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding down the Alt and the Shift key and the up arrow key to be able to move that row down to the bottom all the way to the top. Pretty fancy, huh? That only works for rows, not for columns. In any case, I got a lot of tips, tricks, and shortcuts that I could show you. But I wanted to give you the basics because I don't want to recreate the same video for the body of the message here that acts just like Microsoft Word. Well, acts like it is actually a part of Microsoft Word. The commands and features that you can use and have to have the same video listed twice. So it's just enough to have the basics here, but if you do use this more intensely and you actually want to insert numbers that you can have it calculate in one of the cells, again, I cover that in my Microsoft Word training video on tables. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.